Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a Kroger's Food Clearance Haul. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I go to Kroger's usually once a week and I get there about 9 to 10 in the morning. Somewhere in that time frame. And I go check out all the food clearances like in the produce section. Um, just all throughout the store and see what I can find for us to eat. Um, I love to save money. Some people save money out of necessities and others just save money to save money. And we like to save money um, any chance that we get when we buy things. So um, I'm going to show you a few things that I, that I purchased. Um, the retail value for this haul was $32.20. I paid $13.14. And I saved nineteen oh nine for sixty percent off. That is really good. It's just a few items, like I said. It's not our whole grocery haul. I already put all that stuff away. I don't think y'all want to see, you know, our Campbell soup mixes and meats and all that stuff. I didn't. I'm not going there. So just wanted to show y'all the 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 deals that I got. Um, so when I go there, I go straight to the produce section, and I'll swing through the produce section. And this week, I found mushrooms for a one dollar. These retail for three ninety nine. So I like to saute these with a little bit of butter and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I'm not sure how you say that exactly right. Anyway, so those would be really good. Next, I picked up a little tray of broccoli. This was originally $2.99. They're already cut up, ready to go. A little bit of saute. Um, like quick fry those. A little bit of water, steam them, or ever how you fix them. So really good. Um, and I know when y'all see these, these are going to look like they're expired but they're not expired like I already purchased these but it'll be a little delay getting them uploaded but um yeah for a dollar that's a good quantity for me to eat or for my daughters about enough for two people maybe so anyway I picked those up I am making a roast um for lunch for supper one day and I found these really delicious jalapeno cheese rolls they were originally $3.29 I picked them up for a dollar sixty nine so that is a really good deal um just have some bread for our roast and potatoes and carrots that's gonna be very delicious I found those next I found these four cheese kind of uh these would be good with some um, marinara sauce or what have you so I picked these up. These were originally $4.99 and I got them for $1.49. I will be freezing these because when I bought these, I had forgotten that we were going to eat the roast and it will take us a couple of days to eat the roast because there's only three girls here. And so we don't want these to go bad. So I will be freezing these and then we'll bring them down and we'll make these for supper. But these got sunflower shaped egg pasta with a blend of four cheese ready in under five minutes so a really quick little meal for us and these will be really good for during the week so they were $4.99 $1.49 good good deal um, and since I'm freezing them we can extend that use by date by a little bit of time um, you know do what's what you think is safe for your family and um, you know I've never had any trouble going past that date a little bit. Next, I picked up this Jarlsberg. I'm not quite sure I'm saying that right. Dip. This is so amazing. This is, I believe, a Norwegian cheese. And it is so good. But it's relatively expensive for this dip. It is $6.99 regular price. I got it for $3.49. And it is so good. So I did pick that up. I love cheeses and any time that I can get something, you know, that's going to be delicious snack for half the price, I want to take advantage of that. So 
that'll be really good. And I put this on like um, like a bagel chip or um, Melba toast, something a little like a baguette type um, bread or something. So good. And I was actually watching a video earlier today. And the lady says she likes to put these like on a toasty bread and put them under her broiler and kind of melt that cheese a little bit. So that sounded really delicious. Um, and then next is this faux a GA inspired chicken noodle soup. I thought this would be really good for us to try. And um, this was $2.49. It was originally $4.99. So I'm going to try this. Um, it looks like it would be something good. And it's a, always a good opportunity to try things you don't normally eat when you can get it for a discount. So I want to eat that and try it and uh, see how we like it. Um, so like I say, usually I'll start in the produce section and I'll go through like the ready-made food. I always like to check the the flowers they usually have uh, flowers on sale and so sometimes I like to get us uh, some fresh flowers and uh, you can get them for a couple bucks and just have a really nice uh, bouquet or bouquet of flowers for the week um, just something fresh in the house to liven things up and then usually before I leave the store I go back through those those uh, markdown areas and see if they've added stuff because usually the workers are there you know, when I go through the first time, they're steady marking stuff down. And I love to buy, like, the salads, the ready-made salads. I like to take those for work. And a lot of the, like, organic juices they'll mark down and the salad mixes and vegetable packs and all that stuff is just a great opportunity to save a little bit of money there at Kroger. And then also, um, just for this order... Um, I, I saved $13.65 just in Kroger coupons, not the clearance prices. That was just $13.65 in regular, um, you know, going through their app and adding all the coupons to my cart or to my coupon section and then, um, you know, using those, using my Kroger card when I get to the store. And then, um, so I'll make sure you download the app if you're going to be at Kroger's. You're shaking the table. Yes. Okay. Elizabeth's coloring on the other end of this table and it's really shaking y'all. Um, so um, download the app and go through your coupons before you leave. I always forget this week I finally remember because once I get to Kroger's like my phone does not get a good signal in there um, which means sometimes I forget which coupons I did download. So that's a problem too. But anyway, um, make sure you use your Kroger card for your mileage. I had never done that. I spent a lot of money at Kroger's during the holiday. So I uh, accumulated a lot of points and I finally remembered to use my Kroger card um, at the gas pump. So I saved 10 cents a gallon, which is always helpful. Um, and I think that's about it, guys. Um, Kroger has been like my new found store. I always shopped at Walmart and then um, for a couple years I shopped at HEB and now I'm on to Kroger and I've really been enjoying Kroger's this past couple of months. So anyway guys, I hope you're having an amazing week. Uh, I hope that everyone is staying warm. It continues to be